Hello friends, this video on NEET Ecology is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 49. Which of the following is the main factor of desertification? Tourism, irrigated agriculture, overgrazing, all of these. Now here, uh, if you see to some extent, all of these factors contribute to desertification. But the question is asking for one main factor, which is the main factor for desertification. So if you compare the three options which are given, we would say that overgrazing is one of the main factor of desertification. So that is why you would see that all the protected areas like national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, their uh, grazing is not allowed. Question number 50. Species diversity increases as one proceeds from high altitude to low altitude and high latitude to low latitude, low, la low altitude to high altitude and high latitude to low latitude, low altitude to high altitude and low latitude to high latitude and finally high altitude to low altitude and low latitude to high latitude. So what happens to the species diversity now what we observe is the biodiversity decreases as the height increases because as the height increases the temperature kind of gets cooler so the biodiversity decreases as altitude increases so diversity increases as altitude now what do we mean by altitude altitude refers to the height above the sea level so as altitude increases so as altitude increases diversity decreases okay so this is inversely proportional so diversity would increase if the altitude would decrease now what about the latitude now what is latitude latitude is the distance from the equator to the pole so let's say if this is the earth so you have the equator somewhere here so you have the two poles on these two ends let's say north pole south pole and this is the equator now near the equator there is more diversity so more diversity near equator so as you move towards the poles the diversity reduces so that means the diversity gradually decreases as the latitude increases because latitude is the distance of the pole from the equator so as you are moving towards the poles your latitude is increasing so as latitude is increasing your diversity is decreasing so diversity increases as latitude decreases so what will happen so diversity increases when you move from high altitude to low altitude similarly high latitude to low latitude so which is your right option so the right option would be a question number 51 a scrubber in the exhaust of a chemical industrial plant removes gases like sulfur dioxide particulate matter of the size 5 micrometer or above gases like ozone and methane particulate matter of the size 2.5 micrometer or less now what exactly is a scrubber so scrubber is used to remove pollutants which cause air pollution therefore it is often uh, installed or it is fit inside an industrial plant so that the emissions from the industrial plant can be less harmful for the environment now there can be two types of scrubber dry scrubber and wet scrap scrubber so when you talk about a wet scrubber it has fine spray of water or alkaline lime fluid and this lime reacts with sulfur dioxide to produce a precipitate of calcium sulfate or sulfite now and that's how it helps to remove harmful gases like sulfur dioxide so normally the scrubbers are used to remove soluble gases and particles but it is more commonly used to remove gaseous pollutants like sulfur dioxide. So the correct option would be gases like sulfur dioxide. Question number 52. Kyoto Protocol was endorsed at COP3, COP5, COP6, COP4. So what, what does COP stands for? So COP is for Conference of Parties. So COP3 means third, third session of Conference of Parties. COP is basically Conference of Parties. So Kyoto Protocol was all about. So this protocol was held in Kyoto, which is the least popular 
uh, which is the least polluted city in the world. So Kyoto is in Japan. And this conference was all about reducing the overall greenhouse gas emissions so that we can uh, kind of stop global warming. So this uh, protocol was endorsed at the third session of the conference of parties. So it was endorsed at COP3. Question number 53. In an area where DDT had been ex used extensively, the population of birds declined significantly. Because birds stopped laying eggs, earthworms in the area got eradicated, cobras were feeding exclusively on birds, many of the birds' eggs laid did not hatch. Now we know that DDT is an extremely toxic substance and also DDT even though it is used as a pesticide but it is non-degradable therefore it remains in the environment for quite a long time and we have also learned about the biomagnification of DDT that is as uh, DDT enters into the food chain starting from polluted water into tiny organisms in water to small fishes to big fishes to other organisms like birds or human beings so the level of its toxicity gradually increases as it moves up the trophic level in a food chain. Now, what does it do exactly? Now, in following that food chain, if DDT enters inside the body of an organism, like let's say that if it entered into the body of this bird, then what would happen? The DDT accumulates in the tissues and it weakens the calcareous egg shell of the birds. Now, the egg shell of the birds have... Uh, they are calcareous in nature. Now, the moment the egg shell is weakened, what will happen? Even though the eggs will be laid by the birds, but since the egg shell is very weak, so the it, it will not be hatched. So the eggs will not be hatched and therefore new birds will not take birth. And as a result, the population of the birds would decline. So the correct option would be D. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.